Hello again, I'm Craig Boddicker. This is The Race Report. Breitbart.com has just reported that four of the top positions in the U.S. Justice Department are now held by cash bundlers from Barack Obama's 2008 presidential campaign. When Attorney General Eric Holder, who himself is one of the bundlers mentioned in the report, was asked for comment, he issued the following statement. Because three of the four employees identified in the report, or 75 percent, are African American, further investigation of the matter could itself be construed as pursuing a racist agenda and may in fact invite further Justice Department inquiry. President Obama surprised the nation recently when he announced that, after careful consideration, he has changed his position and will now come out in favor of gay marriage. And when I asked a source close to the president's campaign if Obama was at all concerned that this issue could weaken the massive support he received from blacks who generally disapprove of gay issues, my source confided, yeah, that's what we thought too, but then we went back and ran the numbers and realized Heck, Barack Hussein Obama could take a crap on an American flag on national TV and he'd still draw three quarters of the black vote. <laughs> Fox News Channel's Megyn Kelly made an on-air apology recently when a fellow Fox contributor had this to say to the Daily Caller's Tucker Carlson while a guest on Kelly's town hall program. To right. question this woman on her qualifications <laughs> is going to be something that does appeal to, to, to folks like you, voters like you, bow tie and white okay. boys. Fox News has released a statement saying that Ms. Green has apologized to Mr. Carlson and will therefore not be fired from the network for calling him a bow tie wearing white boy. <laughs> Coincidentally, the race report is announcing that as a community service, we'll soon begin keeping a running tally of just who does get fired from big media for making racist statements and who doesn't. And we're asking you, the viewers, for your input. So if you notice any kind of pattern or any similarities or differences between those who get fired for making racist comments and those who don't, send us an email, okay? We'll keep you posted. Thanks for watching The Race Report. I'm Craig Boddicker. Good night. <laughs>